Buffalo, 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 from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. Buffalo, 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 Buffalo is a grammatically correct sentence used as an example of how homonyms and homophones can be used to create complicated constructs. It has been known to exist since 1972 when the sentence was used by William J. Rappaport, currently an associate professor at the University of Buffalo. It was posted to Linguist List by Rappaport in 1992. It was also featured in Steven Pinker's 1994 book, The Language Instinct. Sentences of this type, although not in such a refined form, have been known for a long time. A classic example is a proverb, don't trouble trouble until trouble troubles you. Section 1, Sentence Construction. The sentence is unpunctuated and uses three different readings of the word buffalo. In order of their first use, these are the city of Buffalo, New York, the animal buffalo in the plural equivalent to buffaloes in order to avoid articles, the verb buffalo meaning to confuse, deceive, or intimidate. Making each buffalo with its use as listed gives buffalo the city, buffalo the animal, buffalo the city, buffalo the animal, buffalo the verb, Buffalo the verb, buffalo the city, buffalo the animal. Thus, the sentence when parsed reads as a description of the pecking order in the social hierarchy of buffaloes living in Buffalo. Those buffalo buffalo that buffalo 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 buffalo. Or, those buffaloes from Buffalo that are intimidated by buffaloes from Buffalo intimidate buffaloes from Buffalo. Or, bison from Buffalo, New York who are intimidated by other bison in their community also happen to intimidate other bison in their community. It may be revealing to read the sentence replacing all instances of buffalo the animal with people and the verb buffalo with intimidate. That sentence reads, Buffalo people that buffalo people intimidate also happen to intimidate buffalo people. Preserving the structure even closer, mapping buffalo the animal onto dog, buffalo the verb onto bite, and buffalo the city onto Tokyo would yield Tokyo dogs, Tokyo dogs bite by Tokyo dogs, or Tokyo dogs whom other Tokyo dogs bite themselves bite Tokyo dogs. This is the same sentence structure as buffalo, 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 buffalo. Other than the confusion caused by the homophones, the sentence is difficult to parse for several reasons. Number one, the use of buffalo as a verb is not particularly common and itself has several meanings. Number two, the construction in the plural makes the verb buffalo like the city rather than buffaloes. Number three, the choice of buffalo rather than buffaloes as the plural form of the noun makes it identical to the verb. Number four, there are no grammatical cues from syntactically significant words such as articles, again, possibly because of the plural construction, or that. Number five, the absence of punctuation makes it difficult to read the flow of the sentence. Number six, consequently, it is a garden path sentence. In other words, it cannot be parsed by reading one word at a time without backtracking. Number seven, the statement includes a universal predicate about a class and also introduces a later class, the buffalo that are intimidated by intimidated buffalo, that may but need not be distinct from the first class. It can be extended to buffalo the city, buffalo the animal, buffalo the city, buffalo the animal, buffalo the verb, buffalo the verb, buffalo the city, buffalo the animal, buffalo the city, buffalo the animal, buffalo the verb in which the subject and object of the central verb balance. Indeed, for any n greater than or equal to 1, the sentence buffalo in is grammatically correct. The shortest is buffalo, meaning either bully someone or look, there are buffalo here. For n equals 0 could be argued to be a valid garden path sentence. One's definition of sentence may or may not include nothing as a valid sentence. Rational sentences, however, generally include at least one word and thus are excluded for the preceding. Section 2, Similar Examples. Main article, List of homophonous phrases. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org forward slash copy left forward slash fdl.html.